castle. Okay, this castle. Okay, I'm, I'm back into concentration mode. Let's push this pawn as we do. Looking to attack the bishop. So attack the bishop. Open up the rook. Let's take some more pieces off the board. And this is a bit of an odd one now because we're facing the attack here. The pawn is protecting here. We could attack here, he attacks down. Could attack there, he attacks down. Which one's the better one? We did cover the four pawns sort of thing, you know, the box shape in one of the previous videos. And it was really about what is behind the pawn but in this case here it's not a full box is it so even one that we push up they're just going to push down onto one of my knights this pawn doesn't have any protection on but this pawn doesn't either so his rook is going to come across here yeah to attack this pawn so is there something else in between that we can do um, we could push this pawn to support the knight just for a brief moment. This knight will come out to attack the knight because the rookies are chomping at the bit to get this pawn. So either way, we, yeah, exact move. Is there any other intermediate thing that we can do? Could move the knight, but he's going to get the pawn. Could move it here. He's still going to get the pawn because even if the knight takes, the bishop takes, the rook still takes the pawn. Mm hmm. Is there any magic at all? Take the knight. Knight's not on anything, so they're going to have to spend a bit of time defending and capturing the knight back. You would assume. So the bishop or the queen takes, gives us time to move the queen to protect the pawn. Let's just move the queen to protect the pawn for now. It's not very strong per se really, but we're protecting it flakily for a moment. I think the queen's probably going to come next here to put two pieces on there. they've not done that just yet so are we looking to double up the rooks protecting the pawn at the same time as doubling or is he looking to get his knight into the game even more so but then it gets taken let's go with that simple idea We start pushing these down to hit the rook. That's why it's not a good idea to put the rooks in the centre of the board. They always get challenged, really. So the knight is down anyway. Where's he going? Knight takes, rook takes. Let's see what he's doing. He's going for it. I must have missed something. I bet I'm falling for a massive trap here now. Queen's protecting. Queen's not going to come in front. It's just taken anyway. Probably look to get this attacking maybe. Just get the bishop off the back a bit. attacking it twice with lesser pieces maybe get the rook here we're out actually up a minor piece out of that I must say I didn't realize that but um, we put three pieces on this pawn 
And then we can just challenge, but then we can put a check and get the bishop. Let's put three pieces on there rather than bringing the rook. So if the pawn drops, then at least the lesser piece can take. There seems to have been some sort of miracle going on there. Was it the knight capturing? I bet it was. Yeah, I think it was that knight capturing, wasn't it? Oh no, the queen's down. It's got no support for anything, so I'm not sure. Is it going to be taking this pawn? Is the rook? Ah, oh, the rook's coming here. So it's got support from the bishop. So if we take, or even if the bishop takes, then his rook comes here. If the bishop takes, I'm on the bishop. If the rook comes there, I still have to move my queen. Oh, he's got a sight of rook coming here. Because the queen is managing this square, we have to move our queen off of the line. So then basically his rook can come down here and get a sort of like checky thingy matey almost. Right, so we need to be mindful of that now and make appropriate manoeuvres. So we could just move the queen and attack the bishop. Takes it off of that line. He may still continue with the rook coming here. He did we take and then if he comes down then we take and the queen comes down with a check move the king yeah that doesn't look that good for them does it must be something better bishop takes rook attacks I don't like them apples. I'm going to bring the queen here and attack the bishop. was always the plan wasn't it for them to come down here but it doesn't look that good for them does it well from what we did our calculation is there a checkmate thing if we take the bishop if the rook comes down then we take then the queen takes or maybe he's not coming all the way down I just can't see it Queen coming here. No, I'm not seeing it, so I think I'm going to take and just um, marvel at the magic I'm just going to see now. So what? what is it? What have I missed? So we take. And then they come down, and then the king comes here. So at this point, I don't, I don't see it. Um, it's the mass destruction of the pawns. No, the queen's just gone back up. So we could put a check on. But if we take get rid of this pawn first. And then I know that you know you know what I'm looking for. Oh he's um he's hitting me. Is it uh, do, 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 do. Is he just gonna go for Repetitions. It's got that pawn on there. But we've got sights of this. Mm. I still don't see it. I've 
what size of getting this bishop here and then going for a checkmate obviously that's not going to be allowed yeah, so he's going for the pawn so we can just move the king up here and if he comes back up again then we can bring the bishop here or even the knight to stop all these shenanigans yeah let's just bring the knight here so he goes and takes pawns Yep, yeah, so it's gone and taken the pawn, so now we're looking for hopefully a checkmate type situation. We're hoping. Probably, well mind you, the queen's going to come off the board, isn't it? So if we go here, then his queen's coming into the side. So the queen's off, and then we've got like two minor pieces against their king. That should be alright, shouldn't it, for us? Yeah. So he's not going to take, he'll push past with this pawn, yep. Okay, and they've resigned. Yeah, that's it. I think we did the narrative throughout the game. Don't really need to do an evaluation. Um, okay, let's have a look anyway. Because we thought it felt smooth-ish, but we found from doing evaluations that our smooth games, we usually end up actually losing from the evaluation side of things. So let's take a little look. So we get opened up.
Attacking the bishop, capturing, opening in the rook, capturing unprotected pawn, defending the knight. So we had a bit of a flap on because of this pawn here being unprotected. But they would have to do a tempo in order to gap capture the piece back. So we could potentially protect it with the queen. It's not really what the queen's designed for, so that's where you get into a bit of a flap. And I did think they were going to actually put a bit of double whammy on there. But uh, they didn't. So I brought the rook up. See if there's me. Oh yeah, it was that knight move. They just basically gave up the knight. So that's why we were the minor piece up. So that was a bit strange. And, and we're in the 1600 bracket, so yeah, that was um very strange for like a 1600 really. So we're attacking the bishop, so there's no major dips. Yeah, we covered this attack process. I didn't really see it. I didn't see the full... There was nothing, there was only going to be the queen left in a sense. And the queen can't do it by itself. And then we sorted out this and at that point, yeah, okay. So that's fine. So there's no major dips in that one. Fairly happy and comfortable with that situation. Excellent.